S2 Pro and the S2. They are very, very similar, but with a few key differences. The most obvious difference by looking at them is the logo. Sure. But if you look closer, it'll have to be the wheels. This wheel, I think, is another two inches wider than that one. I think that is a seven inch and that is a nine inch. I could be wrong, but these are bigger wheels. The skateboard itself looks to be a bit thicker in width, which means there's more battery power to, to power the 500 watt motor that's inside the S2 Pro versus the 350 watt motor that's in the S2. The brakes look to be pretty much the same in the S2 versus the S2 Pro. You might be asking yourself, why do you want the 500 watt versus the 250 watt motor? And that's, well, because this can get to speed faster and it can climb hills a little bit more efficiently. And what's wrong with more power? The larger wheels will also take bumps a little bit nicer than the smaller wheels as well. And outside of that, they're pretty much the same scooter. But before you go, I have one more thing to talk about. If you happen to just run out of battery, pushing this to scoot is still very quick. It's almost like a normal scooter. Go into the skateboard itself, lift up this, there's a pole right here you can insert and you can actually put a seat that you can sit on while you scoot. So that's a cool addition that they implemented into the scooter. I was so impressed with the Highboy S2 that I had to upgrade to the S2 Pro. They are such solid scooters. And if you were to buy one of these scooters, I'd go ahead and buy yourself a U-Lock as well. We live in a world that people steal things. And it's sad, but it's true. So you might as well keep your stuff actually secured with this U-Lock that you'd put right around this wheel right here. This is Chris. Always appreciate and respect another. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.